All right, y'all, welcome back to Coming Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're doing a kind of throwback style video. So the first video I ever reacted to for the Finnish Defense Forces was actually about their military police of all units. And I gotta say, it was just super cool. It was a really awesome introduction to the Finnish Defense Forces. Cause I mean, with the military police here, I don't expect them to be like super high speed or even like really well trained in CQB stuff in general. But what we saw with the Finnish Defense Forces military police, they had some pretty solid training going on. They had some good tactics. They had the right gear for the job. And of course, they were throwing in some like medical stuff as well, which is always really cool to see. So today we're checking out some more Finnish MP training. This video is from 2015, so it's a little bit older. One of y'all sent it to me and I'm kind of surprised I missed it up until this point because yeah, it seems really freaking legit. Now, of course, I have a few other more recent videos for the Finnish Defense Forces that I'm still trying to check out, but this is just one that I really wanted to get to because yeah, it kind of just reminded me about the first video we reacted to for the Finnish Defense Forces. So I'm excited to check it out. So let's get right into it. I like that intro. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, uh, that didn't catch my attention earlier, but that's uh, pretty freaking funny. <laughs> I mean, I understand it. I imagine they are moving through a sort of like a, like a forest sort of environment before actually coming up to this compound, but it's just kind of funny. It's like those, those prank videos you see where people are wearing ghillie suits, just like trying to be bushes in normal urban settings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we see this a lot with their training, moving through the woods and then getting up to a building like this. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so I see the ballistic blanket, so I'm guessing they're going to do some explosive breaching. <laughs> okay. This is, I'm just picking up on some small stuff. Like this dude just in the passenger seat with a, what pistol is that? Like a, a high power or something? <laughs> He's just chilling there with the pistol. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. Now the stack is moving up. Oh, what the heck? Okay, there's the bad guys. Not the best place to, to park, I gotta say, if you're trying to be all discreet about it. Damn. He's getting it. I don't know if it's because he knows he has a GoPro on, but that is maximum effort right there. So, okay, it looks like they're setting up some sort of cordon. And I imagine this is like the target building or they sort of knew that these like perpetrators were going back to their safe house. So they were just trying to stop them before they got there. But it looks like this, yeah, it looks like we have a repel tower up here as well. So I imagine this is like a multi-purpose facility that they're using for this. <laughs> they're just taking him into the woods. That's funny. Why not like one of the vehicles or something? Unless I was like a VIP, but even still. Alright, now that looks like oh they got the mask on too, nice. There we go. This is the actual assault force. Oh nice dude. Again, these are these are military police and they have these nice explosive charges. Okay. Movement's looking good. They're calling up the breacher now. This is pretty. This is pretty cool. So they're gonna blow out the window. Let's see what happens after that. I like how we have the combat camera perspective. Okay, they had the ladder on standby. Nice. We haven't really ever practiced this sort of training. Oh, it's a double ladder too, so you can get. Yeah, you can kind of get two people in. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, nice. He's using, that's cool. So he's using the breaching blanket as like a, a cushion. Obviously, there's probably gonna be some like residual glass on the windowsill and whatnot. So that's pretty smart, I gotta say. And then this dude's pulling security. Yeah, we haven't really practiced doing like window breaching per se, or even like window entries too much. I've done it a few times and there's definitely some times where it would come in handy. But of course, having an explosive breaching charge on the window definitely helps to make that a, make that a little bit more effective. 
Yep, nice and smoky. Down, that's gonna be hard to see. Okay. Oh, of course, yeah. Not gonna go down without a fight, huh? So, I don't know if this is like an actual... I don't know what he was saying, but that's a, an interesting hoodie. <laughs> yeah, so I imagine this isn't like a normal shoot house per se. They probably aren't going to be blasting rounds through these nice wooden walls, but for training like this, it's nice. Of course, you can always utilize blanks and whatnot. But yeah, you can see once the breaching charge goes off, it gets really, really smoky inside the room and you will have like the, the propensity or you, want, you might want to use a flashlight. But of course, when it's smoky like that, it's not gonna work out too well. It's kind of like putting your high beams on when there's a lot of fog, not gonna work out that well. But I kind of wonder why they're wearing that, the actual like protective mask or the gas mask, because unless it's like a, a sort of like a drug house or like a homemade explosive sort of lab, not really going to use it, but they are MPs. So I guess if they want to implement CS gas or something, they can use it and be totally okay with that. Even like OC spray, that, that mask will definitely help with that. <laughs> okay. All right, so I guess, yep, they're clearing out the rest of this now. Is that a door or just a window? Oh, it is a door, okay. <laughs> I did not see that. Oh. <laughs> he chose violence, huh? Golly. So let's run that back real quick. So we can see, yeah, it's a pretty shady position. So if you're going to be making controls, definitely find some better cover if you can't really see what they're doing, especially if they're moving out. If they're moving around like kind of like shady, like doing like a little turkey peeking or whatnot. Yeah, it's definitely sketch. Then... Oh, okay, that was a weird time to pause it, but that dude coming behind him like this makes me really nervous because if this starts kicking off and he's behind him and he starts shooting past that dude's head, he might just have a natural, you know, he might just want to like ditch out to the side because obviously he's being shot at. He didn't really have the drop on the dude and it's not going to be good if you're sidestepping in front of somebody else. So hopefully that dude behind him dropped his muzzle or something. Yeah, that's gnarly. Uh... <laughs> okay. And then yep, they're just like, uh, alright, let's uh let's go on in. I think they killed them. And then yep, good old tourniquet. Okay. Again, it's nice to implement the medical stuff. Okay. Interesting. Where'd the audio go? <laughs> All right, they really need to get that guy. Yeah, there you go. Good stuff. That's a doozy of a house though. Holy cow. It's got like an overhang there. Okay, I'm guessing they have a, a few baddies, huh? And then they're evacuating that dude. Okay, little medevac. <laughs> Again, the first verse. Oh my God, that thing is so clean. It looks so cool. <laughs> okay, here we go. Imagine getting a confirmed kill with that thing. Okay. Yeah, so I understand they're probably not gonna be setting up a defense using these like steel bars or what have you. And you could probably just kick it out with your foot, but you gotta get some reps for the saw, so they're affording this dude the opportunity to do that. <laughs> oh my god, dude, Oh. Okay, let's run that back. Okay, first of all, this is just a crappy house in general. Sometimes you get crappy houses like this, but uh, yeah, you can see there's not much room for him here. You have this danger area here, this one here, and then you have all of this on the side. So if I was this dude, I would just like either tuck into this corner or tuck into this corner, clear this out real quick, 
and then start pieing all of this off. Because if you if you sort of come over here and pie this off, that's good. If you get a two man, he can sort of start pieing this off. But uh, yeah, you want to sort of take it down simultaneously. If you walk into all of this, like into this area at once, it's going to be pretty sketchy, which we can kind of see here. Oof. Yeah, that's a, that's a scary situation right there, though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, screw that guy. What was he doing? I guess he was injured or something. Hey, job done. Yeah, sometimes, again, you're just going to get crappy houses like this where it's just a pain in the ass. You can't, like... You can't take a step without exposing yourself to like five danger areas. All right, that was freaking cool though, man. I always get hyped up watching footage like that. And again, that's how it's kind of similar to the first MP video that we watched on the channel. Yeah, it's just good training. Again, like we, there's a lot of mistakes, but it's training. And if these guys aren't familiar with this layout, which it looks like they might not necessarily have been familiar with the layout, that's awesome because you want to be able to operate in all these different you know, setups or buildings that you're not familiar with so you don't know exactly where to go or how to position yourself. It's nice to go into something the first time where it's completely unknown because that's the most natural. Because a lot of times, of course, if you have to go and respond to a building, you're not going to have like these perfect blueprints, these perfect tactics of this team is going to go here, this team's going to go here. And again, these are MPs. Like, I wouldn't expect MPs to be super proficient with that kind of stuff. Of course, there's like in the in the US, we have the SRT, which are the more like specialized guys for going out and clearing buildings and locking down stuff, especially for more of those like active shooter sorts of situations. But again, these guys are MPs and they're doing like infantry training and it's just awesome. It's awesome for them to get those reps in. Even if they don't do it that much, it's nice to get some exposure. Of course, it's going to be nice to sort of, you know, build off of that and do more advanced stuff, but having some exposure is better, a lot better than not having any exposure and being forced to go into a building. But I'm not sure if these guys have a sort of SRT, like a, a SWAT team to deal with specific situations like that. It seems like the MPs just do everything. And yeah, it's, it's good to see. It's good training. I'm glad to see people getting trained up properly. And uh, yeah, it, it makes me kind of jealous. I kind of want to go and do a shoot house now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, thank you for the awesome recommendations. I will try and do some of the more up-to-date videos but this just seemed like a really cool one that I wanted to check out. So of course, if you guys have any cool videos, even if it's not on YouTube, if it's like on Facebook or something, I can try and check it out there or even like Instagram, I'll try and check it out. But thank you guys again for the awesome recommendations. If you have any more, you can throw it down in the comment section or you can throw them down in the Discord and I'll check them out there. But yeah, very cool video. Thank you guys for watching. That is it for this one. I will see y'all in the next one.